But I didn't know what to do. So Lord, I called on you. You held my hand. He told me to stand in the midst of it all. You didn't let me fall.
Right. 
you are greater than your greatest attack. You are stronger, oh my God, than your worst enemy. And as a matter of shit fact, you don't even know you're in the best shape of your life. Because if the other one on your road had to go three days in your shoes, they would have jumped out of a moving car. But if there's anybody in the room who no doubt must be taking steroids, and now they are getting stronger with all the weight and the pressure that the hand of them is placed on me. the other day that has messed me up and I haven't been able to get it out of my, out of my head the last three days. She said to me, Saints keep asking God, why did you put me in it? But the question saints need to ask God is why did you get me out of it? <laughs> if he put you out of it, it must mean he ain't finished with you. You haven't been able to make any progress. You haven't been in the dimension of living you know that you deserve. God is saying what has been holding up your life has been your inability to forgive. And as soon as you are able to forgive, I'm going to put you on track for the rest of your destiny. I don't know what happened in the basement of that house. I don't know what happened to you in that car. I don't know what happened to you with your uncle, with your stepfather, with your neighbor, with your first boyfriend. I don't know what happened with the person in authority who you thought you should have been able to trust. I don't know what that teacher did to break your spirit. I don't know what that next did to try to compromise your integrity. But God said tonight, you get ready to start your life all over again. I want to open up this altar. It's a different kind of altar call. I'm not asking you tonight to join the church. I'm not asking you to get saved. We're going to do all of that. But first, God has compelled me in this moment to open up this altar for those of you who still have somebody you have yet to forgive. And you need to get it off of you. Wherever you are, ask no question. This is your amnesty night. Whatever the issue, it ain't none of my business. Whatever happened is none of my business. But if you need to get it off of you and you need to get it into God's hands, I need you to get to this altar very quickly. I need you to get to this altar very quickly, right where you are. I don't want you to come because your friend is coming. I want you to come because you've been holding on to this too long. 